Uh, we, uh, uh, in the city uh, for decades, have always had uh, one or two or more uh, neighborhoods that were deeply, deeply troubled. And today, uh, we don't. When I came to office, it was Allied Drive. Uh, we addressed the problems in Allied uh, with a great deal of, uh, a great deal of uh, effort. Uh, we went in there, acquired 20% of the housing on Allied Drive, uh, worked with the neighborhood for over a year to make sure that we got it right when we redeveloped Allied. And today the first phase is done. Uh, the quality of life there is much higher. Crime is down over 53%. Uh, and we've maintained affordability. We've accomplished something in Allied Drive that hasn't been done much anywhere in America. Dramatically improve the quality of life in the neighborhood and not gentrify. And what we need to aim to do is to do that in the future and make sure that we don't develop the next deeply troubled neighborhood in Madison. So we developed a program called Neighborhood Indicators, a battery of statistics and other facts that would allow us to find early indicators, early warning signs of stress in the neighborhood, then go in there and with a limited amount of resources in the short run, make sure that we never develop the kinds of deep, deep-seated, deeply-seated problems that we found in Allied and in other neighborhoods.